everyone and welcome along and this week I'm going to be showing you how to paint a single stem tulip in watercolours. So get your paints out and let's get started. So here's our very simple line drawing of the tulip. And before we get started, let me tell you what colours I'm using. So I'm just using my primary colours. These are my handmade watercolours. And if you want to have a look at the video where I talk about my primary colours, check out the link above. Their hands are yellow, phalo blue and quinacridone magenta. So let's start mixing our first colour. So I'm going to take some of my beautiful hands of yellow. You could use lemon yellow as a substitute for this. In we go with a nice puddle of yellow. And into that I'm going to put a tiny touch of magenta to give us this lovely orangey hue. Fabulous. And we are now going to paint down our first colour. And we're going to start with the leaf, the petal, sorry, that's facing us. And I'm going to take my yellow, wet onto dry to begin with, around the contours of the petal. Around the edge. And I'm going to come around the left hand edge as well. Now we want the petals at the sides to be nice and light. And we're going to... Pull that yellow, just take the paint that you've already applied and spread it across the whole of the petal. Using the tip of your brush, just run around the edge and make sure you've gone up to your pencil line. And now I'm going to use my magenta, create another puddle in my palette. Oops, I'm stuck, my sleeve's stuck. Okay, and magenta is going to come from the bottom and I'm going to come up the centre of the tulip petal to the tip and pull back around covering the centre section of that first petal. Wonderful. With a little bit more magenta on my brush, I'm going to start pulling out from the bottom center out to the sides. Now, because our yellow is still damp, these lines are going to merge into the yellow underneath, giving us a subtle hint of the veins that you get in a tulip petal. In again. Pull in my strokes down, back into that beautiful, rich magenta colour. And because we've used some of the magenta from the petal, we've depleted some of that colour. So I'm going to go back in with just a touch of the brush and come down that middle section, pressing my brush against the paper and creating little puddles of stronger colour. Not brushing them, just tapping my brush against the paper and lifting. Come in each side of that centre band of the petal and then just leave your petal to dry naturally. Now if your lines look too strong in the side of the petal, just take a little bit of clean water and just gently tiggle over the top where the magenta is touching the yellow and those lines will soften in beautifully. Now we can go on to our next petal but we need to be careful not to paint anything that's touching the petal we've just painted otherwise everything's going to bleed and become one. So I'm going to take my yellow with a touch of magenta again and I'm going to come into the petal at the back. Let me move that one out of shot. So wet on to dry, taking your orangey yellow down the side of the flower, staying away from the wet paint. 
and I'm going to do the same where have I got one that's not touching at the back there that little petal peeking out the back and the same again go into your magenta nice and creamy quite strong like single cream consistency and we're going to come along with the point of our brush along the edge of the petal next to it lift your brush up and just enjoy that moment when the paint bursts through and works with the yellow underneath now i'd suggest not playing with it at this time once you've got your strong magenta along that line and it bursts forward into the yellow just leave it i'm just going to tidy up where that petal meets the bottom and again with my magenta nice and creamy i'm going to sort of spin this round so it's a nice angle and just come in behind those petals to get this one that's just peeking out at the top and leaving a little bit of that yellow showing fabulous so that's our first three petals done now you need to let this dry and then come back and we'll do the rest of the petal so coming into this next petal with my yellow first coming along the edge now I want some distinction between the petal behind and the one in front that we painted first let's get that yellow on you don't want this too puddly so if you find a puddle just soak it up with a thirsty brush and back into our magenta coming in to the tip of my petal with the magenta a little bit of water and we're now working wet into wet and again I'm going to bring this magenta down beside that first petal and then just let it bleed softly you can pull it a little bit with the tip of your brush to make it go where you want it to go I'm going to take my magenta slightly creamier now slightly darker and come into the tip of that petal again and slightly down the edge so we get some real distinction between that front petal and the one behind it I'm going to clean my brush off because I've taken that paint really creamy it's not going to blend in easily so I'm just going to take a damp brush and just pull some of that magenta down across the petal beautiful let's come in the other side I'm just going to spin this around to get a nice angle come in with our yellow again down the side of that first petal that we painted you need to make sure your first petals are fully dry before you go on to this one there we go that's our yellow and into the magenta again coming down and along the edge now watercolor is really obedient and it's not going to spread where there's no water Okay, so I'm going to come along the edge here, just drop in that nice strong magenta and look how it naturally starts feathering out into the water. I'm just going to help it along its way with the tip of my brush, taking it in the direction that I want it to go. wonderful and again look how that magenta either side makes that front petal pop forward now we need to let these two dry because they're both touching the petal at the back so whilst we wait for that i'm going to use my green i've mixed some up earlier but i'll do it again now we're going to take some phalo blue nice puddle of green phalo blue and some lemon yellow or some handsy yellow in we go now when you mix the blue and yellow together it's quite a bright color and I want this to be a little bit more plant like 
So into that, I'm going to put a tiny speck of magenta. Adding that third primary colour is going to give you a more neutral green. There we go. And down we come to the stem. Start at the base, push down as you come down nice and slowly down the stem of our tulip. Now we're also going to have to leave the leaf that's sitting behind it a little while for before the whilst we wait for the stem to dry. Now I'm just going to take this stalk up either side of the petals and I'm going to touch over the magenta so it feels like it's part of the same thing. Now for that little extra bit of reality, we're going to take a touch of water into over our dry magenta, just re-wetting that area so the green bleeds up ever so slightly over the magenta, giving us that beautiful natural join between the stem and the flower. So just a little bit of water over that petal. There we go. Now we're going to go darker down one side. So I need my paint creamier and darker. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more stronger pigment, a bit creamier in my puddle. And I'm going to add, remember that little bit of magenta in. Oops, too much magenta. Just balance it out with your blue and yellow. You can also mix a fantastic green using grey and yellow. So give that a try. A bit more yellow, taking this darker, creamier. And then whilst the stem is still wet, let me just spin that round slightly. I'm going to come down the right hand side with the darker, stronger green. Using the tip of my brush down to the bottom. Now I want this to spread slightly into the green, so I'm going to help it on its way. Take a wet brush, touch it on your tissue, and then just bring some water alongside your dark green. Let's check our flower. We're not quite dry, so I'm going to blast it with a hairdryer. And then we can put our petals in the back. Same again, take your lovely yellow, make sure your brush is clean from the green. Over the petals at the back, a bit more yellow in there, a bit creamier. Fabulous. And then this time I'm going to take my magenta across the back edge. I'm going to go really creamy again because I want this colour to pop. So I'm going straight from the pan or from the tube paint and on the tip of my brush, I'm going to come in to the top of that yellow and just let the magenta work wet into wet into the yellow that you've already put down. I'm going to leave that for a couple of seconds just to dry back a little bit. I'm going to go back to my stem again and darken the green by putting another layer on. I'm not changing the colour, I'm just going in again at the side of the flower and then over the top, down that right hand side. Beautiful. Okay, with just a damp brush, so I've washed my brush, touched it on my towel or tissue, I'm just going to pull some little lines of the magenta over the yellow. Gently, gently, just pulling that down over our yellow. Wonderful. Okay, something else you can do, if you want to add more um, interest to your tulip, you can go into your magenta again. Let's come into this front petal once more. I'm going to bring the magenta down the middle a little bit more. 
and then I'm going to sweep out with the tip of the brush to the sides just to add some more veins showing in that front petal where you can see a bit more detail in the flower and we're just going to leave that to dry just spreading it out a little bit further with the tip of the brush and just leave it to dry lovely so now we can go and do the finish off our painting with our big bold leaf i'm just going to add a little bit more yellow back into my green make it a little bit more zesty and we're just going to take that green right up next to the stalk spread in your first layer quite thinly wet on to dry again over the leaf pulling it back down and don't forget the bit sticking out the other side if you, that's how you've drawn yours now back into my darker green let's just mix some more up giving this a moment to settle remember to make that green look natural you can add a touch of magenta you can see what's happened here i've added slightly too much magenta so it's gone a little bit on the brown side so i'll just balance that back with a touch of yellow and blue tiny bit more magenta Let's hope i don't do it again there we go and now i'm going to come down from the point of the petal wet into damp now not wet into wet the flowers start the the leaf has started to dry so it's wet into damp coming down to create some shadows and shape within our leaf and then down that middle section i'm just going to take water touch on my tissue again to get rid of the excess and then I'm going to soften that mark down the right hand side giving the green somewhere to bleed into pulling that up to the edge of the leaf wonderful and then again just taking a damp brush touched on your tissue first down the middle along that darker green again this is called softening and it's giving somewhere for that green to melt into so we're still getting a sense of shadow but we're not going to end up with a crisp line i'm just going to take that a bit darker again at the bottom wonderful and just let that dry naturally or hit it with your hair dryer there we go so there we go our very own single stem tulip i hope you've enjoyed painting along with me please make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to see some more flower videos have a look just above thanks so much see you again soon Take care, happy painting. Bye for now, bye.